Welcome or welcome back on C Square. In this video clip, we're going to talk about operation with sets. So, first of all, let's take a look at some vocabulary. Universal set is the, a set that is given to you. For example, in this uh, slide, the universal set is represented by the number from 1 to 14. And a set is a collection of distinct objects. So, we here we have set set A, which has a number of uh, elements. And you notice all these elements also are elements of U. So A is what we call a subset of B, of uh, U. Uh, a, this B, uh, that is a very interesting way to see a set. And it means X, when X belongs to the natural number and X is less than 5. So in other words, B is nothing less than 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Yes, uh, this is the raster form, by the way, how it's called. Sometimes it's easier, especially when you have a finite number of elements. You can count them. And here we have five elements. Complement of a set. A complement of a set represents the elements that do not belong to that set, and they are in universal set. And this is the notation I'm going to use it, but there are different types of notation. You see here, these are elements of U that do not belong to A. Uh, three more things. Union. Union of set, that means you put the things together. So that A and the B, if you remember, means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We put this, these two guys together. You don't have to list elements twice if they are both in A and B. If you put them together, we should get this. Intersection of set is the next thing. Here we're looking for things that have in common. And if you notice here, 2 and 4, 2 and 4, that is the uh, intersection, what they have in common. The last thing here on the slide is difference of set. And A minus B means, hey, what element A has and they are not in B? And you see them here. And this is B minus A, by the way. Okay, what elements B has and they are not in A? You notice uh, they are so different. A minus B is different than B minus A. Uh, let's practice a little bit to see how this works. So we have here A union of B. So we're going to put all these guys together. And we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so you see these are the elements of A. Now, now let's look at B. And B we have 5, which already, we already put it here. 6, it's already in. 7 in. 18, so we have 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so this is the union of A and B. What about number 2? Number 2, this one, if you remember, means intersection, what they have in common. So now we're going to look and see if they have anything in common. And you can see here 8, 8, 8 is in a uh, a and B, 7, 7, 6, and 5, and that's it. So we have four guys in this intersection, 5, 6, five, six 7, 8. Okay, so let's take a look to the next uh, uh, thing. If you remember, this one is the complement of A. The complement of A is the set of elements in U that do not belong to A. So we're looking 1. Uh, and then 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. This is the complement of A. This one is a very interesting one. Okay, so if you remember in, in this set here we have all those elements, one, or not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, right? This was the union. Yeah. This one is the complement of that guy. So we're going to look to the elements that do not belong to this guy. So that will be... Uh, and they are in the universal set 1, uh, 13, and 14. What about number 5 and 6? Eh? This one, you need to be careful, is the complement of A, and this one is union of B. So we, we're going to put this guy 
and these guys together. So we're gonna have what? 1, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then we're gonna look to B, and we have 5, right? We have 6, we have 7, we have 8, we have 9, which is already in, 10, it's already in, 11, in, and 12. So that is pretty much what we have in this union of a complement of B and of A and B. And this one, again, this one is the complement of the intersection. So here, what did they have this guy in common? If I remember well, 5, 6, 7 and 8 was the intersection of A and B. So here we're going to look to the elements that do are not in this set, but they belong to the universal sets. So that will be 1, 2, 3, and 4 first, and then 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Okay, so go ahead and try this one and let's see what you get. Okay, so here we If you have the sensor for this uh, six problem, then you did a wonderful job. Let's go to the last thing. We can use also Venn diagrams for doing all this type of operation of uh, uh, sets. In fact, sometimes it's even easier most of the time. So you see this one, A uh, union of B, yeah, that would be this guy. All right, we put all these guys together. So that will be uh, 12. 13, 11, 9, 7, 1, 3, 5, 8, 6, 4, and 2. Okay, so that is the union of A and B. Now, then we have, we call this intersection, right? What do you have in common? Okay. This is very easy also if you have a Venn diagram, 1, 3, and 5. And then here we have the complement of A. Complement of A, if you remember, means the elements that are not in A, but are, they are in universal sets. These are the guys. So again, we have 8, 6, 4, 2, 
14, 10, 15. Uh, then here we have the complement of the union. So I'm going to go back to uh, red, but let me erase some stuff here. Okay, so the complement of the union. Okay, so again, remember the union, the union is this whole guy. The complement will be this guy over there. So, yeah, it's going to be 14, 10, and 15. And then here we have the complement of A and union of, of B. So let's do the same thing. We're going to look to complement of A. All right, complement of A is represented by this set of these elements, right? And B, B is represented by, in fact, by the circle itself, right? Let's, let's be sure about that, just by the circle, right? So that means we put these two guys together, and what do we get? We get one, three, five, eight, six, four, two, fourteen, ten, fifteen. This is number five. And let's take a look to number six, the last one. Uh, this one is the complement of the intersection. We already, we already have the intersection, is right here. But also, you can look uh, uh, in the Venn diagram. Okay, so again, uh, the intersection is represented by these common sets. The complement are going to be what? These guys and these guys. Okay, so. 12, 13, 11, 9, 7, 6, 4, 2, 14, 10, and 15. Okay, go ahead and try this one, and uh, we'll see you back soon. If you have this answer for D6, probably did a wonderful job. If you enjoy these video clips, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more math video clips. Thank you.